A toxic culture not confined to the nation's capital. North Terrace is having its Me Too movement. Allegations in recent weeks in Canberra have been profoundly disturbing. Allegations of what has occurred in this parliament are distressing to many. The Equal Opportunity Commission surveyed all Parliament staff. A quarter of those who responded reported experiencing sexual harassment from offensive jokes and comments to indecent exposure and physical assault. There are days where I haven't been able to eat or sleep when I get home. The review prompted by a corridor Christmas party. Former Liberal Sam DeLook is accused of assaulting a crossbench colleague. He's been charged but is yet to enter a plea. Every single day, I get to feel the humiliation of what he did to me and to others. Eight women detailed their specific experience of being sexually harassed by an MP or their staff in the last five years. I'm not surprised. This building needs to change. It's got a sick culture. It's got a sexist culture. I think we need to take this as an opportunity to turn things around, to acknowledge problems and to act. Some reported male MPs lurking over young female staff at social events. You don't want to be sitting next to him when he's had some drinks. I learnt that one never again. He put his hand up my skirt, really far up my skirt. In some instances, male staff did not feel safe. If I got in the lift with a certain female MP, I would plant my backside up against the wall of the lift so that I didn't get my backside pinched. The report outlines racism and discrimination and widespread bullying, with six complaints against MPs being sent to the ICAC in the past two years. There's also a culture of cover-up, with victims blamed or ignored. There's ways that things have been done there for decades, and it is. It's the old establishment. It's the boys' club, and you don't disrupt that. Disruption is exactly what the Equal Opportunity Commission is seeking. Its 16 recommendations include a proper human resources system and a code of conduct to finally govern what MPs can and can't do at work. That idea has been repeatedly recommended and ignored by successive governments, with the Premier again dismissing such a code just last week. Well, I don't think my position has changed, no. Lawmakers will now have to consider subjecting themselves to a new set of rules.